Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are we doing, Liverpool? All right, yes? Yeah. Oh, you're a bit fucking dead now. It's the end of the night. It's like, just let us go home, dickhead. Fuck's sakes. I've already seen the guy from Britain's Get Talent play a fucking song. Hurry up! Uh, it's nice to be here. Uh, my name's Monty Burns. I tell really dark and offensive jokes, and if you're not up for that, there's a bar there. Fuck off. Uh, so I've only got seven minutes and I'm not going to ease you in, so... Uh, but it's nice to be here, man. Uh, my name's Monty. I'll start you off light, yeah. Uh, my name's Monty. I'm a parent. It's a cool time for me to be a parent because my, you know, my daughter's just learning how to talk just now, which is really exciting because she's five. And, uh, I'll be honest, I'd lost hope with a little cunt for a while there. As, <laughs> yeah, TikTok, you fucking moron. Come on! This kid's your age in China making fucking iPads. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. All right, I'm kidding. Like, she's a girl. If we were in China... <laughs> That's how it goes. Uh, it's just plenty of time now they could have left, right? Yeah, we're sound. All right, so... Um, just got a couple of new little bits to try out, I suppose. Uh, oh, sorry, off. Uh, fuck it. This, this happened recently. A friend of mine said, Monty, I know my kids fight all the time, but you name me one family with siblings that don't fight and argue all the time. And I said, all right, done. The McCann's fucking... <laughs> Mate, think about the fucking question before you ask it, love, you know? I was watching the uh, documentary on Netflix, you guys seen that? It's interesting as shit, right? I fell asleep during it and I woke up the next morning and it said, are you still watching, Madeline McCann? <laughs> um, I thought it was a good joke, fuck it. Uh, I love when people I think I do jokes like that and they're like, oh, aren't you worried they're going to sue you? For what? An Iron Maiden t-shirt with pot burns in it? I don't give a fuck, lad. What are you going to fucking sue me for? I don't care. That family have had such a hard time. Yeah, I can empathise, actually. I'm sure digging a six-foot hole in a Portuguese beach really played havoc with... Je- <laughs> really played havoc with Jerry's tennis elbow. Go fuck yourself, there. Me and the missus, we foster dogs and children. The same agency, different cages, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> we like getting puppies and babies, man. Puppies and babies, if you get them at the same age, it's a cool little game you can play where you work out like which one's going to outlive the other one. <laughs> I mean, you know who it should be, but... Uh, <laughs> I smoke weed and I leave doors ajar to anyone's game, folks, I'll be honest with you. I don't know, man. My missus, she's got a rape fantasy, I think. Fucking hope so. <laughs> Mrs. Girl in the Park, it's all the same thing. Hey, is this racist? I, uh. <laughs> I'd have thought the other day it was a little bit fucked up. I thought, do you reckon there was a Jew on the train to Auschwitz and they turned to the other one and go, like, swap seats with me, babe, I can't travel backwards, it knocked me sick. <laughs> I think that probably happened, you know. Some of you don't like me, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Check it out, right? I, I got, our dog sleeps on his back with his paws like this. And he, goes, he has little night layers and shit. I like to pretend that he's like dreaming he's Stevie Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> woof, 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 woof. <laughs> See, it's not as big a laugh, is it, darling? That's why I do what I do. Fuck it, abortion. Let's go. Um, <laughs> I did write a joke about abortion, actually. I was really excited to start with, but I, I don't know. I don't think I can go through with it. <laughs> Probably just get rid of it, to be honest with you. It's Monday night. That's heavy, isn't it? It's heavy, isn't it? Talking about abortion, it really sucks the life out of a womb. So, yeah, I just... <laughs> Abortion puns. You didn't know that's why you were here, but now you are. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm trying to get in shape. That's a big thing, trying to get in shape just now. I want to try epilepsy. It looks like good cardio, so I want to... <laughs> cardio and a nap. Fuck it. Um, sign me up, mate. I am trying to get in shape, though, genuinely. The reason I'm so fucking mental... Where's that lady that hates me? The reason I'm... <laughs> The reason I'm so fucking mental is because I was in the army, man. I fought in Iraq, I went to Afghanistan twice. All those roadside bombs that I missed, it'd be a shame to come home and then lose a foot to diabetes, wouldn't it? So, <laughs> trying to get in shape a bit. You know, it, Jesus, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just tell jokes like Jesus, that's all it is. <laughs> diabetes, man, I don't make fun of them. Or to give it the medical term, sugar spastics. I don't... <laughs> 
<laughs> you fucking annoyed you said that before I said that one, right? That's the worst one, yeah? I have no idea how much longer I've got. Fuck it. Let's do an hour. Fuck it. I want to talk about the things, the reason I talk about the things I do, the most fucked up things I do in that. The reason I do it is because if you don't talk about these things, they get fucking worse, yeah? And you're only allowed to talk about a little bit. It's like recently, right, Daniel Craig had said he wanted to maybe step down from the role as uh, James Bond, yeah? And Idris Elba tweeted, didn't he? The name's Elba. Idris Elba. And everybody thought, oh, fuck, that might be him. And we were all doing the same thing, weren't we? We were going, well, I saw him in Luther. I saw him in The Wire. The guy's a badass. I could buy him as Bond. But could he pull off the suaveness of Bond? Maybe something along M lines. But then sensational media came out, all racism. And they were like, oh, we're racist. Came out the woodwork and went, Idris Elba can't be Bond because he's black. And he's never been a black Bond. If you change it, it's not really Bond, is it? <laughs> it's like, I don't know about you, man. I think we're ready for a black Bond. Yeah? Yeah, yeah exactly. But to piss the racists off, sir, we should have an, an Indian one first. Just uh, a <laughs> little bit of collaboration here. Double O seek. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah? Just an old Indian guy solving crimes, doing yoga, maybe. I could play the theme tune in the fucking sitar. Ding, 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 ding. It's just ideas, isn't it? If you really want to piss the racists off, get under their skin. I'm being dead serious. This is what we need to do. We need to make a united front. It's going to take a leap of faith on your part, but I warned you at the start, so fuck it. Here's what you need to do. You need to have a Muslim extremist bond. It's the only way to do it, man, I'm telling you. It's like I said, Iraq, Afghanistan twice. I'd pay to see that movie. The name's Bond. Jihadi Bond! <laughs> <laughs> the old circle with the blood coming down. And... Just ideas, isn't it? Vodka martini, Mr. Bond. No thanks, pal. It's Ramadan! <laughs> 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 Jihadi Bond. Could be a whole, you know... Just ideas, isn't it? <laughs> now pay attention, 007. This is no ordinary fountain pen. Double click the end here. Turns into a powerful argon laser that can fire through 13 inches of reinforced steel. These are no ordinary buttons. Push the middle here. They turn into caltrops. You can throw them out the window. Disable the tires on an enemy car. Are you listening to me, Bond? I'll be honest with you, Q. I was just going to blow myself up in a crowded marketplace. <laughs> When I wrote this joke, I wrote like 500 of these, and they're all awful, but uh, this, is, this is the quickest one and the most offensive one. Ready? Because you seem cool. <laughs> Ready, yeah. Ready, yeah. Hello, Jihadi. <laughs> Hello, Jihadi. My name's Miss Moneypenny. Why is she talking? There you go. <laughs> Could do a whole fucking series of this shit. Mission Impossible, your message will self-destruct. <laughs> Could do a whole thing, man. Feminism is still a big important issue in 2019. Honestly, man, until the zombies come and then some of you bitches need to shut your trap. But... <laughs> I could fight a zombie on my own. You couldn't fight off Harvey Weinstein, darling. Just fucking <laughs> calm it down a little. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Fuck it, I'm keeping that. I don't care. Can't hate me more than you hate myself. <laughs> Is any cunt going to flash me or am I just doing half an hour? Fuck it, I'm doing it. Um... Gay marriage just got legalized in Australia. That was a big deal. That was a big deal. And, and Germany as well. That's a huge fucking deal, man. I don't know how you guys feel, but it's 2019 Liverpool. Legalized gay marriage, yeah? yeah? Exactly, man. You know? Let them get married, right? It's not like they're getting into heaven. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. This is my last joke. Uh, fuck it. I hope you guys have had a good time in that. And if you did enjoy what I did... I'm a horrible cunt and all, but I, uh, I run the roast battles here. Next one's April 7th. Uh, Paige is like on hot water. They'll promote it and stuff, but uh, roast battles at hot water. Have a look at that. And Monty Burns, I suppose, you know, have a look at it. I, um, I quit smoking. That was a big deal for me. That was, that was my most recent thing. It wasn't like vaping or patches or anything. You know, it was, uh, it was one conversation with my uncle. That's what did it for me, man. 
I was having a fag outside one day. Somebody he just talked to me. Somebody said resonated with me, man. And I'm, I, you know, six months, haven't touched a cigarette. I don't think I'm ever going to smoke again, to be honest. And if I can pass it on to one person here, I think that's, I think that's worth my time. So I hope it's worth yours. Um, here's, here's what my uncle said. He said, uh, Yeah, I'm on you. <laughs> Yeah, morning. Have you got a spare fag? I was like, fucking just have him. I don't want to end up like you, Davros. Holy shit. I did it for me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the best clubs in the UK. I hope you keep supporting live comedy on Monty Burns. Good night. Cheers. Thank you.